Standing majestically in Pennsylvania's Cranberry Township is a stunning home known as the Austin, and it has been patiently awaiting for its turn to be toured. This impeccable home is by none other than Infinity Custom Homes, and it features an impressive seven bedrooms, six bathrooms, a four-car garage, a luxurious master suite, and all the entertainment space you could imagine. All of this tucked snugly inside an incredible 8,375 square feet. The exterior of this charming Austin model home has a dominant gray color siding with blue accents and trims going all the way around the house. On the front side of the Austin is a towering covered porch that extends to both sides of the front door and gigantic columns that perfectly frame this grand entryway. Adding to the curb appeal are several gables and dormers with a spritz of shake siding that adds a touch of texture to the home as well. Moving around to the back of the home, there are even more impressive features that await. Here you'll find an amazing covered patio complete with an outdoor fireplace and a built-in grill. This being one of the many entertainment spaces that can be found throughout this home. Sitting off the master suite is a private balcony overlooking the backyard and beckoning for some quiet evenings taking in a sunset or a lazy afternoon with that perfect book. The character is surprisingly not lost back here either as there are additional gables adorned with shake siding and tons of picture windows that fill the Austin with a heap of natural light. When it comes to the price, the Austin will set you back approximately $2.2 million as we'll be touring it today. However, that price could vary if you had this home built as your lot and finishes could alter the final price. If you would like more information on this model or any of the models that we've toured across the country, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. With that, let's go ahead and hop inside this home and see what all we can find. So back inside another beautiful infinity home and this is the view when you first walk in. I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick, let you check out the front door and it sits inside of this gorgeous foyer which is open to above. You got a great big window up there and another light fixture and then just off of that you got this nice office space with the beautiful pocket door and the glass pane window. I think that looks absolutely amazing. And then into the office. Now this is actually one of their offices, uh, so don't want to go too far into it, but you got some nice built-ins in here. Uh, and then just off of the opposite side of the foyer, you have your formal dining room, which is gorgeous. You have this beautiful wallpapered ceiling, which is becoming a thing. Uh, and depending on the wallpaper I'm about it, some have been nice, some have been uh, a little different. Not real sure how I felt about them. This one looks pretty nice. Uh, great big table. Got the eight chairs. Man, I wish. I wish I could have a table with eight chairs, something that big. And then, of course, the friends to fill it. Uh, I think that would be really fun. Right now, we just got a little four-person table. And of course, Rory, Rory has his, uh, you know, his high chair. So eventually, we'll have to to move up a little bit, get a little bit bigger table. But into the great room, you got these nice built-ins on either side of the gorgeous fireplace. I love the accent lights right here uh, within the shelves themselves. I think that's a fun little place to put some some knickknacks. And then this fireplace, gorgeous tile surround. You got the wood mantle up above it but this this surround right here is nice and they actually run this throughout the most of the home you've got it as far as backsplashes um, and a different features throughout the home and then checking out some of these cabinets within the built-in nice soft close cabinet doors and then just a beautiful great room I think it looks really nice I like the openness and then the kind of bronzy goldish light fixtures. I say gold all the time, but I guess they're bronze. And then this is a cool feature. You got a little built-in wet bar here uh, in between both the kitchen, great room, and dining room. Just a convenient little uh, spot to have one. Love the color of the cabinets. I think that looks really good. And then just next to that, you come back. This is like your mud room area. 
You have a great big pantry back here, which I like because it's kind of tucked out of the way, but also close to the garage, which is really nice. So you can just kind of bring all the groceries right in and, and drop them in the pantry. And then this beautiful tile inlay. I think that looks amazing. And I love how it perfectly matches the walls. I think that looks good. Nice little drop zone right here with plenty of cubbies. All the storage you could ever want right here. And then this is a new thing. We have not seen this in any of the other homes that we've toured pretty much ever. Just a nice little wash basin, wash your shoes off and stuff, uh, or whatever you end up getting dirty outside. And then you also have a nice cleaning closet, uh, maybe a coat closet since you're this close to the garage. Now, the one thing about the garage, there is an office down here and a lot of storage, so we didn't go too far into it, uh, but it is a great big garage with plenty of space. So I know a lot of y'all love seeing the garage and unfortunately I couldn't go all the way into it and I'm sorry for that, but it is a garage. Anyway, from there we come into the kitchen and another great big beautiful kitchen, great big island, some nice light fixtures and I love the exposed beams in here. I think that looks really sharp. I'm a big exposed beam fan just because it gives it like a rustic feel and I like that a lot. But coming around to the side of the island, you get a little outlet right here. And then plenty of cabinets and drawers. Nice soft closed drawers. And then you got the apron sink right here with two compartments. And again, the bronze fixtures and your dishwasher right next to that. And then this great big refrigerator with all of the cabinets surrounding it. And then you have your built-in microwave and oven. And one of the cool things about these is they've got these digital clocks and you can change the pictures on them, which is cool. I haven't seen anything like that before. And then even more cabinets along the back wall. I love how they kind of incorporated the dark blue against the white. Great big pot and pan drawers. And then on either side of the stove, you've got, well, on one side you've got a spice rack and on this side, I don't exactly know what it's for. Uh, if you do, let me know down in the comments, but then you've got your gas stove and a beautiful range hood, kind of a farmhousey, ship lappy range hood, the spice rack. Gosh, I wish I could have a spice rack. That's going in a future home of mine. Uh, instead of cramming them all inside of a cabinet, I think a spice rack would be awesome. And then they run the tile all the way over here into the morning room with this nice dry bar right here. Got a couple drink chillers. And then a nice space for another table. This is, you know, either your breakfast table or an informal dining room. Bring out the TV dinners and just eat a quick little meal. And then just off of that, you do have a doorway that leads out to this massive back patio. I think you guys are really going to like this. You've got all the space in the world. It's covered. Uh, you've got some sections that are uncovered. You've got a great big fireplace. You've got a built-in uh, grill with a nice island and a little bar area. And then the one cool feature that I do love about this home that I haven't seen in any other home ever is this outdoor bathroom. So it's just a simple bathroom with a single pedestal vanity and the toilet. But if you have any guests over, you're hosting a party or something like that, they don't have to go traipsing through your house, which is nice. They can just come out here and use the bathroom outside. But then again, you've got your great big grill out here and then your island with your undermount sink. Some nice light fixtures. And then I love the brick, both here and the backsplash behind the grill. I think that looks really sharp. And then of course, my favorite is the outdoor fireplace. What I would give for an outdoor fireplace. Like that is another one of those things that goes on the checklist uh, for a future dream home definitely want to have that. You've got the great big 
tray ceiling up here with a nice little ceiling fan to keep you nice and cool in the summertime. And just a beautiful outdoor patio. I love this. All right, so now from here, we're gonna go ahead and start working our way to all of the main uh, bedroom areas and living spaces. Now down here on the main floor, you do have uh, one guest room and one full bathroom. So that sits over here just beyond the living room and right before you go either upstairs or downstairs. So you've got this little hallway right here that leads into the guest room and you also have a full bathroom with a nice single vanity, your toilet, and a nice step-in shower. So just a really nicely appointed bathroom, I think. Got the tile surround that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And in this bedroom, I love everything about this bedroom. You've got the built-ins on either side of the bed, and then you've got these fun little sconces on either side of the bed as well. I think that looks really cool. Plenty of windows in here. And just a sharp looking room. Now this could be like a flex room too, uh, if you don't want to turn it into a guest room since it doesn't have a closet, but either way. And we'll go ahead and work our way upstairs. So this is where all of the main bedrooms are, the master bedroom and the secondary bedrooms. Got a great big landing up at the top of the stairs. Got the banister looking down into the foyer. And then you also have an upstairs laundry room. So just a quick little pan of everything that's happening in here. But very nice to see this. Again, gosh, this blue that is running through here. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a fan of it. It's like my favorite thing to see in these homes. So plenty of space in here, a lot of counter space. You've got washer dryer hookups, plenty of places to fold some clothes, some more beautiful blue tile backsplash, under mount sink, and then great big light fixture looking down into the foyer and the front door. Now this is another little spot that I like. I like the stairs that go up to the secondary bedrooms. Just kind of gives it like a lofty type feel. And the rooms themselves are absolutely massive. Got a little built-in desk area. Just a humongous room. Now these rooms, both of these sit towards the back of the home. Nice big walk-in closets. And then they are connected by a Jack and Jill bathroom. So you've got a single vanity on this side and then there's a single vanity on the other side with the toilet. And then the shower is separated by a pocket door on either side, which is nice. And then another tile surround within the shower itself going all the way up to the ceiling and then this one i mentioned this in another video uh, a while back because this is, i filmed this one like second or whatever uh but it says uh hey diddle diddle <laughs> aim for the middle and i always thought that that was a fun little sign but into the second bedroom this one's about the same size looks a little smaller because of the bunk bed but these rooms, man, they put they put our bedroom to shame. <laughs> and it's we just got like some uh, you know, 1960s rancher and all the bedrooms are all the same size. But uh gosh. What I would give for some of these bedrooms and wait until you see this master bedroom. Oh my goodness. But across the hall you come to the third bedroom up here. Again, plenty of space. 
This one sits up towards the front of the home. And I like that like the windows just provide tons of light in here. Definitely one of the nicer of the three bedrooms, I think. Great big walk-in closet in here as well. And I like this one mostly because it has its own ensuite. So definitely for one of the older kids, you know what I mean? Got the single vanity in here, toilet, and then a shower and tub combo. Got the little lip on the back. All right. Now I hope y'all are ready for this one. This, uh, gosh, the closet, everything in this master suite is amazing. So we've got the double doors right here, uh, which kind of open up. I want to give you a little bit of the effect, but they open up to reveal this absolute stunner of a bedroom. You got the fireplace, little sitting area, vaulted ceilings, just absolutely a gorgeous master bedroom. I mean, could you imagine just waking up and seeing the fireplace or even going to bed at night with a nice, warm, toasty fire? I like that with the bricks around. And then up the stairs, you got a fun little reading area, some more exposed beams. And this, it, it gets even better. So up past the reading area, you have your pri own private balcony looking out into your backyard. It's covered, just the perfect space to kind of get away, grab a little breath of fresh air. Beautiful. All right, now this is, might be absolutely extraordinary, but I think the closet in this bedroom tops everything. This thing is ridiculous. So it's like your own mall within your bedroom. And it is huge. You got the tray ceiling, big old light fixture, got a little island right here in the middle. You have closets within closets. <laughs> I mean, it just keeps going. I think there's even a gym up here. So plenty of wood shelves uh, within this closet. And then in, back into the main closet. Again, I mean, just shelves upon shelves. This closet, it's every bit as big as my actual house. It's huge. Some nice cabinets here within the island as well, and they go all the way around. Got some nice built-in dressers over here. And then all the way at the back. Now, this doesn't have to be a gym if you don't want it to be. Uh, this is actually the second home we've seen with a gym within the closet. So that's pretty cool, though but it does have it. You could probably extend that if you wanted even more space within your closet and didn't need a gym. And then you do have a wet bar here within the master suite as well. Got the little uh, prep sink right here. And then the glass shelves. And then into the ensuite. I love everything about this thing. So you got the double vanity, huge walk-in shower. We'll check out the vanity real quick. You've got two undermount sinks, plenty of cabinets and drawers, soft clothes, of course. And then all of the shower heads within the shower. You've got a nice bench back towards the back. 
You've got a removable shower head on either side. And then next to that, you do have the water closet. I'm glad it has a door because just definitely going to be, I don't know, this house has plenty of, plenty of bathrooms. I don't think you really have to struggle to go and to use it and at least the closets outside of the bathroom. But oh my goodness, here at the back, you got this spa-like tub, the exposed beam and the sconces. Things a whole vibe right there. So gorgeous, gorgeous master suite. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comments. And we still have so much more to do. We got to go up to uh, the third floor, which has a huge bonus room. Uh, definitely turning this one up here into a, a movie theater room. Just a huge spot. Almost need an elevator to get all the way up here, though. <laughs> but uh, I, I like this, too. Uh, another fun little built-in bunk bed. So if the kids have, like, a sleepover or something, all their friends and stuff, they can all kind of hang out upstairs. They got their own little space. Play all their video games. Eat all their popcorn. You got a nice little... There's a couple of these. Just got like a little reading nook. And then this is the another closet. Store all the games and stuff up here. And then you have kind of a little kitchenette over here. Access to the attic. Put a little microwave up here so they can pop some popcorn. Another reading nook. And then a bathroom up here too. So you got the single vanity, toilet, and a walk-in shower. And then you have a utility closet up here with your upstairs furnace. And then there's also one, I think, all the way down in the basement as well. Then coming all the way back down to the basement, you have even more living space down here. Great big fireplace, plenty of room for activities. Put a big old pool table down here. But I love this fireplace. This home is absolutely full of fireplaces. It's amazing. So you got a built-in on either side of this one as well with some nice kind of ship lappy uh, accents. Nice big mantle up over the fireplace. And then what I love down here is the bar area. Uh, definitely says speakeasy to me, but I love the kind of the brick backsplash. I think that looks really good. You got a great big island right here with a raised bar plenty of cabinets let me know what you think about this home down in the comments if you do want any more information on this model or infinity custom homes you can find that over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country you can see if they're built in your area get pricing information and so much more with that thank you so much for taking the time to tour this home with me today my name is timothy and i look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.